Hey there folks, uh, shooting another video. There's a backpack blower somebody's using in the background, but I'm sure it'll stop. Uh, this is a patch uh, planted at this public place that I've been gathering cuttings and figs from for a couple of years now. Um, it's what they think is an LSU collection, but there's also some other things in here. But I just want to do a quick uh, show off. You can read the names yourself, O'Rourke, then Hunt Fig. And then uh, LSU Scott's Black. That one is perfectly perfect. Starting to dry on the tree. Oh, baby, look at that one. Look at that one, too. It's cracked, but that's going to be so good. Um, then we've got a uh, Kadota. These things are well overhead. Oh, let me back out again. Let me show you this one. So this is, uh, yeah, Alma. I'll have cuttings of these available again this fall um or winter it's uh september 15th now what is that one celeste which i imagine is an improved celeste um champagne fig these were all bought at lsu three maybe four years ago hardy chicago the teacher that works here basically gave me permission to take cuttings and fades and then uh told me the, a little bit of that story there's a LSU purple. You can just tell by the way that fig looks right there. This is a LSU tiger. And that one there looks... Oh man, it's so close to being perfect. And there's so many people that come here. I'm taking that one. Oh yeah. Yeah. No latex coming out of that maybe. No. A little drop. But the rest of the fig feels great besides that. A Texas ever bearing. I'm going to take a bite of that LSU tiger right now. Mmm. Perfect. Okay sweet um very nice food tastes like a um oh no tastes like a fig southeast brown turkey um the lsu purple okay now is that little fig you see it growing back over there this is a big lsu gold for anybody wanting to see that's how squat that fig is on the on the branch not ready yet but there's so many people that come here they're picking everything they can early or not you'll find them on the ground all the time and a smith which i've gotten a bunch of cuttings from not these ones this was uh uh look how big those are anyways that's um a quick little video i wanted to make of this patch and show you some of the varieties that i have most of these growing at home but this is where i've been getting cuttings from and i'll have cutting more cuttings of this available let's see is that a ripe cut odor right there look at that little tiny fig oh yeah and it's perfectly ripe look at that next to those uh strat black. there's another perfect strat black. Ooh, i'm gonna get that too and that one those are coming oh there's two more one more at least right there yeah i think what happened was that teacher stopped picking and coming here every day when the main flush of all those celeste stopped and so not that many people look at that one. Oh, all right i'm gonna eat this one right here right now for you hold on i know that camera's fine but i just pulled that one off of the scots black Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I mean, good. Great fig taste. There it is in the sun. Great fig taste. Yummy, delicious. What was that other one that I just pulled off? Hold on. A Kadota. Let me get that one. That little guy got smashed in here. Look, there's that Kadota. I'm about to smash that. The inside's kind of yellow, like a honey fig. Not, not much flavor. I think they're fertilizing this. I know they're being irrigated. I think they're fertilizing this with, and I don't know, y'all can tell me, does fertilizing with synthetic fertilizer change the flavor? Mm -hmm. Anyway, anyways, there's just not that much flavor. They are getting shade from these big pines for a big part of the morning. I mean, it's almost. 10 30 now in the morning we're gonna get some sun here and then it's gonna stop there so maybe 
not enough sunlight <clears throat> then they are on drip irrigation pine straw mulch and look at the soil underneath right quick it looks black but that's sandy let's see oh, i don't look that bad oh they've added that brooks compost i can see the vermiculite in there so it's just another it's a brand of compost that everybody buys from this place called brooks egg cell compost or whatever so they do have that now but i imagine they've got some sort of synthetic fertilizer or a constant source of fertilizer which might be i don't know i'll have to find out because i know the teacher here at this garden anyway mm. gotta go y'all have a great day